Welcome to Teaching the Skills That Matter in Adult Education video series. Over the course of this series, we will spotlight the five content areas covered in the toolkit. Civics Education, Digital Literacy, Financial Literacy, Health Literacy, and Workforce Preparation Skills. This video focuses on financial literacy instruction. If you have ever wondered how to incorporate financial literacy into your classroom, this video will be of great help to you as it shares the best practices to support your ability to successfully teach financial literacy in your classroom. Financial literacy is about ensuring people have the confidence, knowledge, and skills needed to make financial decisions that promote financial self-sufficiency, stability, and well-being. The TSTM skills, including critical thinking, communication, processing and analyzing information, self-awareness, problem solving, navigating systems, adaptability and willingness to learn, respecting differences and diversity, and interpersonal skills, all help students make informed decisions about financial obligations, budgeting, credit, debt, and planning for the future. Let's take a look at how Stephanie Summers uses these best practices with students in her classroom. She's conducting a financial literacy lesson on household budget. Seven of the nine TSTM central skills are taught in this lesson. They are adaptability and willingness to learn, communication, critical thinking, navigating systems, problem solving, processing and analyzing information, and self-awareness. You will see these skills practiced throughout the video. You'll find this lesson in the Financial Literacy tab in the toolkit. First, remember that your learners bring relevance to the experience. Be practical in planning activities that align with learners' abilities and near-future decisions and actions. When introducing new financial concepts, survey the group to identify skill levels, relevant experiences, and attitudes toward particular topics. Or I might need bus fare. Okay. Groceries. Groceries good. I thought, does nobody eat but me? Okay. Groceries. Electricity. That's your number one expense. Yeah. And electricity. Gas. And gas. And here we pay gas. Which of these would be fixed expenses? Rent. Maybe rent. Probably rent. Yeah. So some bills, for example, a phone bill could be, yeah, so we'll put a star there, phone bill might be. What about gas? No. Sometimes change. It, it changes, right? Yeah. Because the price can go up or down. Yes. Yeah. Depend when I go, when I to use. Um, yeah. And the more you use, yeah, the more you, you need pay. To pay more. Yes. Yeah. What about groceries? No. No. You no. can no. fix. No. Yes, so you could fix it. Use the coupons. You could use coupons. Yeah, that's true. But at the same time, no one tells me here's your grocery bill every month, right? So I kind of decide. Now, let's hear from a student who experienced the financial literacy lesson. Financial lessons are helpful for me because financial systems are very different in the U.S. than in my country. Second, respect the privacy and protect personal information of your students. Some learners may be uncomfortable discussing personal financial issues. Discern when to use mock data for group discussions and when it might be appropriate for learners to use personal information for independent learning activities. Kate used to worry about money. By the end of the month, little remained. Making a budget has helped. Kate now knows where her money goes. She knows what she needs to save. She feels more in control. Okay. So who is this? story about? Kate. 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 Okay. What is Kate's problem? Money to pay bills? Yeah. Do you have any problems like that, like Kate does? Yes. Yeah, I do. Always? Yeah, I do sometimes. Yeah. Third, use storytelling to introduce topics or clarify difficult concepts. 
Telling a story is an effective way to introduce financial concepts and position personal finance topics in context. Stories provide learners with points of reference for the discussion, especially when covering difficult concepts. What does the story tell us about what has helped Kate to feel more in control? So she has a plan for saving and spending. Yeah. yeah. Is there a word up here? Budget. That, budget. 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 Yeah. 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 So making that saving and spending plan or budget has helped her to feel more, more in control. What are some examples from the text? Okay. So we've got cable, phone, rent. Let's hear from another student who experienced the financial literacy lesson. In the class, a uh, teacher not as a uh, personal the question. Uh, teacher used the example. My teacher used example this situation. It helped me understand the lesson because I connect the real life uh, example to my own life. Lastly, pay attention to language and tone. Avoid language that might be perceived as judgmental relative to socioeconomic status. Promote language that inspires and empowers. For example, when discussing options to manage a particular situation, substitute could for should to emphasize choices rather than to impose personal values onto others. A budget is how we plan our expenses together with our income to make sure that our income is enough for our expenses or that our expenses are not more than our income. Yeah. Sometimes my expenses are more than my income. Is that true for you guys? Yeah, yeah sometimes. Financial literacy is important for adult learners because not everyone receives financial education, their daily actions impact financial circumstances, consumers face complex decisions, financial stress affects health and work performance, and limited English and cultural differences can pose barriers to financial success. Consider embedding financial literacy into your adult education classroom as a way for students to practice literacy and numeracy skills, as well as exercising crucial life skills. Let's hear one last reflection from a student about financial literacy lessons. Financial lesson is connected to my life because money is so important to hear. I need to understand prices, sales, banks, and everything to support my family. Thank you for watching. To learn more about other content areas or effective instructional approaches to teach the skills that matter across critical content area, Please be sure to download the TSTM Toolkit and watch the remainder of the TSTM Adult Education video series.